Welcome everyone to another mod spotlight and today we're gonna have a look at a mod called Glens Gases, a mod which adds various types of gases into your Minecraft world for even more survival experience. The aim of this mod according to its author is to refresh the survival aspects with both new challenges and solutions. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into it. Gases in this mod may be toxic, flammable or even explosive. Now some of these gases will be color or odorless, so you'll have to take safety precautions to avoid spontaneous death. Gases are normally only found in little generated gas pockets, thus you'll only be able to find them by digging for them. But let's have a look at a few other items first. First up, this mod provides you with a lantern type light source. You might be familiar with the fact that open fire gladly interacts with floating gases and may result in a minor catastrophe. Thus, lanterns will provide the solution to this problem. You can insert a torch into a lantern to provide near full light levels or a gas bottle to provide full light levels. But be aware that both these sources will eventually run out of burnable materials. Alternatively, you can create a glowstone lantern, which will get rid of the expiry issue. Now let's have a look at this mod's piping system for gases. What you want to do is place down a gas collector to get the gas into the pipes and just like with redstone, every 15 blocks you'll have to use a gas pump in order to keep pumping the gas along the pipelines. If you want to specify which gases go where, you may use a sampler and right click on a pump or collector in order to change its settings. Next up of course we want to store our gas, which is what the tanks are used for. This is the contraption where you can fill up your empty bottles with gas for various purposes or vice versa. Now not only lanterns may be fueled with gas, but also the newly implemented gas furnaces. Pump your gas into there, smelt some items and the furnace's temperature mechanic will tick in. Gradually it will increase its temperature, which will make items smelt even faster, but on the same time the gas consumption remains the same, which means by smelting constantly and a lot of stuff you can save on a lot of gas. Currently this mod is built up on the gases framework, which is an API for adding gases into Minecraft. So far you'll find added by Glens gases steam, coal dust, chlorine gas, natural gas, red gas, nitrous gas, acidic vapor, void gas, electric gas, corrosive gas and black damp. And already existing gases from the framework are smoke and ignited gas. So let's have a look at some of them. For instance, steam is produced when lava and water touch. Don't feel so safe anymore when making your obsidian pathways. Mining coal will now produce coal dust, which is extremely unhealthy but also explosive, so be wary of your torches. Chlorine gas, on the other hand, will turn all your iron ore and blocks into rusted iron ore and blocks, as well as slowly damage your iron armor and tools, so stay away from that one if you hold your items dear. Occasionally, you also come across natural gas randomly leaking out of holes you made in the walls. Remember that torch you placed behind you? The nitrous gas, also very explosive, can be combined with water in order to create the nastier acidic vapor. Next, on the more unrealistic side of things, you'll find the electric gas every now and then, which attempts to electrify and damage nearby entities in sight. Want to be careful with that one, but it is necessary for the process of producing turquoise dust from blue dust. This process can be reversed with the corrosive gas, which will break blocks below it over a certain hardness level. Now I mentioned some dusts before. These are actually used within a recipe to make snapdragons, which are basically throwable flash grenades, which have a radius of about 10 blocks around its detonation point and will also damage entities depending on their distance to the flash. Now even though these were the most important features of this mod, you can see that the gases framework has been used properly in this mod and in combination with your other mods can make for a substantially more interesting environment. Well guys, this has been it for today's mod spotlight. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to support the videos you like and have a great day. Bye bye.